Hi everyone, welcome to my first video. Today I'm really excited to show you what a typical day as a chemical engineering graduate student at the University of Waterloo looks like. I try to make it a habit to start my day with exercise, so this is me in my building's gym. I did a really quick cardio workout. When I was done, I went back upstairs and started to get ready for the day. I'm gonna have some quick breakfast, have my first cup of coffee for the day, and then we'll head to campus together. I usually have a really light breakfast that just consists of a yogurt bowl and a cup of coffee. I live pretty close to campus, so I like to walk there, especially when the weather is this beautiful. If you've been to Waterloo, you might notice that there's sometimes more geese than people on campus. I'm currently walking over to the QNC to work a bit on my assignment before heading to my office. I really love these whiteboard walls at the QNC and it's usually why I choose to study there. I'm currently working on an assignment for my computational fluid dynamics course. We're learning about numerical methods used to approximate solutions to partial differential equations. This assignment was getting us familiar with the central differencing scheme and the upwinding scheme for approximating derivatives at nodes of a geometry. I've been mostly lateking all my assignments in grad school. It makes it a lot easier to read through in the future. I'm now heading towards my office in the engineering buildings to do some research. But I'm first going to stop by the engineering CND to grab a snack and my second coffee of the day. E6 is the chemical engineering building and it's where all the graduate student offices are. There's a temporary piano on the third floor so you often hear beautiful live piano music playing as you enter. The rest of the morning is spent on research. My group is focused on computational fluid dynamics and my specific area of research is applying machine learning to accelerate these simulations. I share an office with other PhD students in my group who are also doing very interesting research. Itisak, who's on the bottom right, focuses on combining metabolic models with CFD-based compartment models to effectively capture heterogeneity in both cells and their environment in large-scale bioreactors. And Alex, who's on the bottom left, designs algorithms for reduced order models with a general approach called compartment modeling, where he segments the domain into regions of uniform flow behavior and models these regions with a simplified closed form approximation. Working in the same office is my favorite part of grad school because we can always discuss the research that we're doing and bounce ideas off of one another. We went out as a group to Goals, which is one of our favorite noodle spots near campus. We try to have lunch as a group at least once a week. And it's just a good time to socialize and discuss what everyone else is working on. And this is us heading back to campus. I'm spending some time in the lab of another research group in chemical engineering. I volunteered to design a UW logo for their 3D printer. Because I work in computational fluid dynamics, I'm very familiar with meshing and generating STL files, which are often used for 3D printing. This is a hydrogel printer that's used to demonstrate that new materials can be printable during materials discovery. It was really fun to learn how to use this printer while also learning more about other research in my department. Before heading back to my office, I dropped by at a CHEGSA event, which is a Chemical Engineering Graduate Student Association. They always plan amazing events and this was a free ice cream social. I love the sense of community within my department and I really feel it, especially with these kinds of events. I started heading back to my office to get a few more hours of research done before my meeting with my supervisor. I was happy to see that my code is still running. I'm currently testing my method on a few use cases and hoping to get some results before the end of the day. After working for a few hours, I head towards my meeting with my supervisor. I have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with my supervisor at least once a week, and his guidance really helps me stay on track. In this meeting, I'm discussing the layout of my code with him, and he's giving me suggestions on how to optimize some of the processes. I left the office around 5.30 and started heading towards my research group's dinner event. 
We're having a get together to say goodbye to one of the MyTax interns that joined us this summer. They're leaving Canada next week. We had a lovely dinner and had some really delicious homemade tiramisu by Alex. It was really fun to spend time with everyone outside of an academic setting. It was the perfect end to the day.